Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to show you how I do one of these backgrounds. And um, I was cutting out some um you know from the other day i had the uh harvest and uh here's the lady that i said i want to do something with and um i was taking my cues i said hmm i used to do this plaid pattern so i, th I think i'm gonna put a plaid pattern down and kind of sort of work uh with blues, yellows, and pinks, but it's not going to be the same match. And plus, you know, you don't want it to be the same match because it's it's going to uh, she'll she'll just fade in the background. So um, I have some vibrant turquoise here that I haven't even used. Let's see if I've used this one here. Let's see if anything's left in this one. Probably hardly. But I need to use it up regardless. I think I have some in this one, which it's not. Let's see. Because this is the year that I'm going to use up what I have. And I'm just going to take these foamy brushes and see if I can. Nope, I can't see if I'm not going to get it all over me. this little ball around see if I can't get all that off it's already make it an interesting pattern I'll go ahead and throw that one away So, this one here is polished jade. I guess I'll go ahead and open this one. Let's see how this does. I don't know about you all, but the other day, you know, last week, well, I live in uh, North Carolina, and uh, we had some 60-degree days, some 70-degree days, and some high 70-degree days, but then yesterday, we got snow, and it was so bitter cold outside, so bitter cold, bone chilling right here in March. And um, today it's still a little bit cold outside. I think it's in the 30s today. But not quite as windy as the other day. And... Uh, Try to do a plaid, and let's see. I may have to set this one down. I kind of keep me a stack of these uh, plates in here. 
that you just get a whole big stack from Sam's and I use these to pour my paint in. And let's see, I think I'll use this Pink Flamingo. Pure Sunshine. I don't even know if I have enough of that. This one here is just orange, Craft Smart. So, and then, um, well, I was going to tell y'all that um, I ordered these brushes here, these foamy brushes from Michaels. And they're by Craft Smart also. And they come in a big bucket of 72. Uh, but how I save money, I used to go in, I think, at uh, Michael's, which I haven't bought any this year, but it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 or 10 something for a whole bucket of 72. But I believe if you order off of the Michael's website, you can get three buckets for maybe six a piece or something to that effect but i mean you can go on the way uh, you know michael's website and check it out but uh you know if you're going to be using them a whole lot like me and i would rather um use these disposable brushes than uh messing up my good paint brushes because I, I do other art besides journaling which i'm not doing it at the moment but you know whenever i use my canvas um you know canvases and stuff i don't you know my brush is all messed up but now that was pink flamingo and it looks like it's really going to pop I have to lay it down to go this way. And don't worry if it's not 100% accurate. It's going to be covered up. You just want the suggestion in the background. And I think... Let's put... I forget how I do this now. Well, I should wait actually. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go. I just I just dumped that on, on the thing I forgot. I should have waited. Just try not to get too close to that one because it will smear and then it will be looking like a hot mess. This is just plain old orange. You know, I do have some that says hot orange and deep orange and pumpkin orange. This is just orange. And it's really, you know, these, what, 79 cent? So, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. And, you know, you don't have to use Dine Reevely Dilutions paint. You can, um, you know, get the Craft Smart paint. Which that's what I will do in the future, but I just happen to have a bunch of these left over. Okay, guys, nothing to it. Just nothing to it. I mean, you don't have to be precise, and if you think you're going to hit that other one, just, you know, let it dry, like I should have, or use your heat gun or whatever, which I don't even own a heat gun. But let me set this one aside. We'll let it dry. And 
Let's see if I can pull this one over here. I'm going to try to do this collage. It's another intricate collage. Let's see. Let me put a, a clippy on this one. And... I had this one laying over here for days, and let's see. Hang on, guys. Okay, I think it came off there. I didn't realize how it seemed like this glue has gotten thinner or I don't I don't know. I'm just so used to using the um um Mod Podge, and it looks much whiter. Let's see. I think I had cut out this little lady here. Thought she would look good sitting there. Let's see, and as usual, here's the jewelry. I have to keep up. I've got it all laid out over here, but it's like a another one, like the million little pieces. I'm going to try to put it together in how I was laying it out and going through my little thought process. Okay, so I think I found this in uh, Variety Magazine. I think I've seen it in there more than once. And I've used it. I guess it's a movie or something. Oh, and that reminded me. We was talking about the movie the other day about uh, body heat. And no, it wasn't... Uh, wasn't who I said I was. It was it wasn't Sharon Stone. It was Kathleen Turner. And I even tried to look up that movie Celebrity, and every time I did, it kept pulling up some other movie that I'd never even heard of. But it was called The Celebrity also, and it said comedy drama, which no, that was not a comedy drama. But yeah, it was Kathleen Turner that was in that movie, and she was so good in that movie. Okay, so I had cut this shoe out, and I think I'm going to, I know the whole bottom part is stationary, but it's what I do with the rest of it that I want to show you all, because I love to manipulate a picture. So we can, okay, and actually, this was, if y'all remember, okay, right here was the lady's foot. Had her foot, the whole leg and everything up here. And I didn't cut away the toes. I didn't, I really wasn't paying attention, but her whole foot was all the way in here. The leg went up and everything, but I think that was about it in the picture. And then, here was the lady that I said I liked. And I said, 
I'll put her there. And then when I put her there, I said, well, I think that that can go for her belt. So I cut it away right here. You know, this is going down to her arm. So I cut it away right there. And I said that can go for her belt. So let's see. I have to just get all of this out of here because I got something else I'm going to do. So stick that under there. Got to get one thing stationary at a time. Kind of hard to do everything at one time. Okay, so that's that. So I think I can go ahead and glue the strap down. Go ahead and glue this part down. Okay, and that's going to be her belt. Okay. And then I found this jewelry. It was a ring. I thought, hmm, that would probably be cute as her pocketbook. And then I said, well, I had cut it apart here and slid it under there, but you see how it hides it, the other half. So then you have to go in and cut it right here, right here under her hand. So I guess I can go ahead and put a bead there and glue this part down, which is her skirt, and then lift her hand up because of the way her hand was shaped. I said, it looks like, you know, you could put a pocketbook in there. Well, I need to put some glue on this. And it may turn out to be a hot mess, but I think I tore the handle off, but we'll work with it. Okay. See how that goes on there? And it looks like a little pocketbook. It looks like it goes. And then, here was the lady the other day that I said I wanted to use. And, you know, she had some uh, right in here, right in here. And I just went ahead, to cut her hand through, went through it and cut through the pocketbook. So I can go up in here and see at the end of the day, no one's going to even know you even cut it. And, uh... But I just really like the, the way the colors popped. And you know how really I'm, I don't know, looking for a color theme, I guess it is here. With the blues and the pinks. And and then, um, well, I was playing around with the fruit, so, you know, in this funky collage world that we all know, you ain't got to, it ain't got to be what it's supposed to be. You know, nothing's no rhyme or reason. And, you know, I could have went down in here and cut out all this white, but I left it. And I found this uh, tiger, uh, lion, excuse me. Don't know my animals. And I had to be careful about him because after, you know, I had him laying on here. And 
he was laying on there, and I seen another pocketbook. I just broke his guitar off. But what I'd done, I'd seen another pocketbook, and I liked the way his hand was shaped. But I had to go in here, cut in here. You see how I had to cut his hand away? And I had to cut the guitar away that was right here. And, you know, had his little bit of his coattail and the gu guitar. So I had to cut around the guitar to make this pocketbook thing fit. And I said, I'm going to give the lion a pocketbook because I love the way that his hand was. It looks like he was carrying a pocketbook. Think. Let's see how it was. And I wanted the guitar to go back on top. Because, you know, if I'd put the pocketbook over top of it and not cut the guitar away, you wouldn't have been able to see guitar at all. And plus, his tail is coming out right here from the guitar. I love to manipulate pictures, you know, to make it look like someone's sitting in a chair, but you know, you can't just put the person on the chair because, you know, the, there's a handle on it and you got to be wary of that. And then, um, I don't know if you guys remember the other day I had this, uh, let me see if I can find it over here. You know, I love taking... Uh, I think this lady here come off of this page, as y'all remember. And let's see if I can find this other one. I don't know if y'all remember the other day I said uh, that I like these row of hats. Well, I cut out the black one. I said, hmm, I wonder if that would fit on him. I love it. I love it. You got one cool lion. And had the fruit theme going on. little something right here had this ear of corn I liked it because it gave it a pop of green but I was thinking thought I did have it over here but I think I like it better over here this apple you know don't throw away all your little pictures you know whenever you get a you know a picture like this you know have, have a little pocketbook in it save all those have a shoe hats uh, glasses you know if I wanted to I could cut the glasses out and put them on the the lion which hey we might do that let's let's see how that would work Oh, and I had these um, two little flowers here that I found. Remember, we was going through the magazine. I found these two little flowers, and I said, hmm. Well, I done put that. Let's see. Let's put this right here. Because I found these two little flowers, and I said, hmm, I think they would kind of look good on this shoe. I mean, what do you all think? Does it look good on the shoe? And flowers were on a totally different page 
than the uh, than the shoe. And let's see. I think the pocketbook. See, the pocketbook was to the lion was right here by itself. And okay, I think I'll set. this one aside let me see how do i get this other one set up here on my table because i don't want y'all to see it before i put it together i think that's the the attraction of it not knowing what you're going to get Okay, so, this was my other one. You know, they had all these others. This is not a jump start. And, you know, all these were stencils to the faces, to the numbers, to this. This was a stencil. And, let's see. Okay, the other day, I said I was going to cut out this, this was a man, I said I was going to cut out this lady's head, and I like how it fits, it's like an overly grown head, I think I want to put this here, Put this here. Okay, and if you all remember correctly, you know, this lady had this shirt, so I cut it away. Went up here, cut inside the earring. And we're going to stick her right there. So I said that I like this lady. So when I cut her shirt out, I cut this here was around the lady. But see how that doesn't pop all that well. This is the dull part. So, you know, if you're looking at critiquing it, that's the dull part. And I just, you know, you look at it, it's, hmm, it's just not well Take out whatever's just not working. And, you know, I like this. So I said, I wonder what would happen if I stuck this behind her. You see how that pops so much better? It's just pattern, and it was her shirt. You know, don't be afraid to cut the pattern away on something else. I 
Let's see if I can remember. Let's stick that under her shoe. I like it better that way. And I like to, I think it's good composition if you uh, can have them all connecting somehow. I'm not saying it's going to look good every single time, but it's kind of like, you know, you're making this go with this. It's like when you go to decorate your living room, you want the curtains to make them look like everything's bouncing off the other thing. Okay, and if you all remember, I had this hat, and it had uh, the yellow hat that was underneath it that was covering up part of the other hat, but I said, I'm going to put it on, but, you know, there's ways to work around it. If, if the hat, you know, I had to cut the yellow hat off. So it left that gash in it. So let me see. I found these lipsticks. Cut those out. Remember, I found on the opposite page of her, I found these words that said up in the magazine, Truth and Beauty. And I said, well, I'm going to stick truth here. And that way, nobody will be the wiser that, hey, I had to cut another hat off. You know, don't be scared to try stuff like that. And I'm going to put and beauty down here you know just I guess I like working like with graphics give it a little visual interest you know before it was kind of dull down in here your eye was drawn to this and these two the pops of color and then, um, I think on the picture where he was, it had the future. So I said I would, uh, cut that out and put that up here, you know, to give it a pop of color. I got one more that I'm going to try to do. Let me set this one aside. And y'all remember this from, I don't know, probably two, three weeks ago. Okay, so here was the lady that I said I liked. Let's see if I remember how all this goes. I guess I can go ahead and put her down. I just like the way that the gold tones and everything popped against this, but, you know, her head was kind of small, and as we were going through the magazine, I was saying how I like this 
other lady's head. So, I think I like her head better. And then, here's the hat. I think I messed up. I think I actually messed it up. Or did I say I was going to put it on the other lady? Let me see. Hang on, let's get this lady on here. I think I really wanted her as background since, you know, I had a little bit of black going on. I just wanted something visually interesting, but... Nothing that was going to take over the show. Okay. See if... Okay, I don't know if you all recall this lady's picture that had the, um, the long green legs. She had on a... You know, black dress, long green legs. Of course, she had her arms. And then I remember this uh, coat that I said that maybe would look good on her. So, and you can't just put the coat like that because that actually goes around the back of the head. So, then you have to cut down in here and stick her in here like this. Because that is going... That has to go around the back of her head. So let me see if I can get that glued up. Or maybe it won't move. And then... If you all recall... Her legs were actually going out here, I think, kind of like that or something. So I cut her legs off so I could make them flow better. Uh, let's see how I want them to go. Because, you know, they would have stuck way over here in front of this lady. So I cut them off so I could make them go more straight down. See if I can get them pre-glued down. Because i got to do something else with this lady. i got to put some arms back on her. Okay. So. She was like this. I think I can glue everything, but that sleeve right there. See how that coat, she really looks like she's wearing that coat. And this was her arm. You know, both of her arms, I think, were going up over top of her head, if y'all recall that. And, um, so I said, well, see how the arm would look if I cut it off and stick it under here, but you got to think how it would look. Okay, you want the sleeve kind of covering her wrist. Because it is supposed to, heck, I about glued that down. I forgot all about, about this arm. And then you want, you know, this one I think was going up over her head like that. But I think I want it coming right here. I about messed that up. I hear the chimes outside of 
my craft room here just to go on. Very windy today. Yes, it's March coming in like a lion. Haha, <laughs> and I did a lion collage. that's all I had for that one but I think um, I'm gonna stop right here I'm gonna dry this other plaid thing with the hairdryer and cut these out and I'll be right back 